what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com. Real quick before we start, we have a 4th of July sale over at Weartesters. So if you're interested in any of our performance apparel, that includes the cut sleeves and the long sleeves. You can save 15% right now and it goes until midnight of the 4th. All you have to do is use promo code ID4. And yes, we ship internationally in case you're interested. So, uh, you know, wherever you're from, we will get your shirts to you. But today's Friday and something really special dropped. If you're a Curry fan, that is, or part of Dub Nation. And that is the Under Armour Curry One Low. Originally, I was only going to grab this pair because pictures for this shoe just do not do them justice. But in person, these things are beautiful, man. I think I might actually like this colorway more than this one, even though I'll be rocking the hell out of these because they're Dub Nation. All right, guys, so here they are. This is the Panther colorway. I believe they have a, a different official name, but I'm calling them the Panthers because that's exactly what they look like. These guys do run a little bit short in my opinion. These and the MVPs, they did something with the last to where it's like much more like form fitting on the forefoot right here at the top, less uh, dead space. And then they run just a tiny bit short. I personally really like how that feels because I think that it fits perfectly like one to one fit. But if you're wide footed or you like to have a little bit of room in your shoe between your toe and the tip of the sneaker, then you might either want to try them on or go up half a Size. But other than that, this is just a basic average uh, Curry 1. Only difference is the height of the collar, that fit that I already talked about. And then the insole here is not Micro G, unfortunately, but it is very comfortable. They hit you with that ultra fluffy ortho light interior. So, you know, even though there is no Micro G, it's still super, super padded inside. And this is the Dubs colorway. They call it the home. I call it Dub Nation. I don't know if they really have a nickname or not, but whatever it is, who cares? Some people think that this area right here is black. It's actually like a really, really deep blue. And you got this uh, warrior blue color with all the, the yellow hits. Here's that up close look at the Anafoam upper. I absolutely love Anafoam. This stuff is awesome. It molds to your foot with uh, more heat. And then the rest of this upper is just kind of like a canvasy material. And that goes for both shoes. Both of them are the same exact stuff. As far as detailing, we got the logo right here. SC30 on the back, Anafoam on the inside, and SC30 on the tongue. Can't forget about on the toe either. This pair's got a chromed out logo. Ooh, shiny. SC30 on the back, chrome and a foam on the side, chrome SC30, and then a silver one at the toe. Both shoes do feature the I can do all things on the interior, but they don't feature the 413 branding on the tongues here like the mids did. Nothing special about the lace tips. Yes, I know that they are called aglets but I call them lace tips. Multi-directional herringbone for the win. Excellent traction. And that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let me know in the comment section below which colorway you prefer. Still can't pick one. I'm really liking these ones though. I think it's the white bottom. I'm not really sure, but these are fresh as well. Thank you guys one more time. Happy 4th of July to everybody. And until next time guys, have a good one. Don't.